What is up guys, Alex from Creates here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the basic controls that you need to know to get a good natural sounding vocal sound that's just more in tune with Antares Auto-Tune. This is not a, a comprehensive review of every setting and every dial in Auto-Tune. This is just to get you started. I find a lot of people can get very intimidated by Auto-Tune because there are a lot of settings on the page and just there's so many options, but typically to get just a tuned vocal that doesn't sound like T-Pain, you only need to know a couple settings. Today we're just going to be looking at the basic settings to get you started to have a more in tune vocal and to be honest with you these settings are the settings I use for 90% of the vocals that I run through autotune. It's just natural sounding, it's quick, it's easy and it doesn't sound like it's actually being tuned it just is more in tune. So this is a quick one for you let's dive into it. All right so here we have Antares Autotune Pro loaded up on a track. This is just the factory default setting that it comes loaded up as. Now the settings that I'm talking about today are are also available in previous versions of Auto-Tune. These are like the basic settings that you need to know. So you'll just have to look for the names of them on your version of Auto-Tune if you don't have Auto-Tune Pro. So the first thing that we're gonna do is actually just turn on the advanced view. And I'm just getting out of this out of the way right off the top because uh, one of the settings that we do need is in the advanced view, but don't get intimidated by all the other things that popped up. Most of them are irrelevant for what we're doing. So the first setting we're gonna change is the retune speed. And this is a setting in milliseconds as to how fast Auto-Tune is going to grab a note and pull it to the correct pitch or the pitch that it thinks is correct. So the higher you turn the knob up, which means a smaller number, the faster it's going to pull the note and put it on the correct pitch. The more Auto-Tune and T-Pain, you're not gonna have any transitions in the notes. It's just gonna snap it right to the note. To get a more natural sound, you want it somewhere between 20 and 60 is what I find is the best. My go-to, my default is actually 52. If I want it to be a little bit tighter of a vocal, then I will put it up to 30, 35 is typically where I go. I don't like to go much above that because then it does start to sound very auto-tune-y. The next setting that we're gonna change that is a very important, I find, and a lot of people kind of forget this one, is the humanize button. And I just put that all the way up to 100%. What the humanize setting does is basically it lets a little bit of the nuance of the voice through. It just doesn't try and snap every little warble, the little tiny fluctuations in between. It lets some of that kind of through. And it also lets some of the transitions through and the transition between notes just lets it get through a little more naturally. So the next thing that we're gonna do is look at the input type and you're just going to change what instrument you are doing. So I, I normally work with alto and tenor type voices so I just put it on alto and tenor. It's going to help the algorithm and auto-tune how it detects the voice and how it detects the pitch. So the next thing we're going to change is the key. Now if you don't know the key uh, and you just want stuff to be a little more in tune this is actually all you need to do. You can just leave it here and put it on and it's a C chromatic by default so it's just tuning to every note that's available and it'll just pull the voice to the closest note possible. So this will just give you a little more in tune vocal. But if you do know the key or if you use the auto key to kind of help find the key, then you can just help it eliminate some of the notes that are definitely wrong. So at least all the notes it's tuning to are in the right key and the right scale. The way that I do this though, is I change the key right here. So you can see I change it to D, but instead of changing it to major or minor or whatever uh, other scale I want, right beside that. I leave it on chromatic and I actually go down here, which is part of the advanced view, and I set major or set minor from here. So for right now, we'll do D major. And what this does is it removes the notes down here on the keyboard so we can easily see the notes that are no longer in the scale and the auto-tune won't try and pull a note towards. The reason that I do this and not with the scale selector up at the top is that you can easily adjust which notes are added or removed or bypassed or anything like that. You can have a bit more nuanced control when you see it down there on the keyboard. You can add or remove notes by clicking on them if you're actually saying in a certain key but you added an extra weird note in there or something like that that does actually need to be in there. You can adjust it easier from here. When you select it through the scale selector up at the top, it actually takes the notes right out and you don't have any other say on that. It's harder to adjust the notes because as you can see, they're just not there. It takes the keyboard out of it. It just, it's, I don't like it that much. So I typically leave it on chromatic and then set 
it from here so I can adjust the notes and see the notes a little bit clearer. And that's it, that'll get you started. I've actually saved everything besides the key into a default preset that is just what I use all the time and throw on almost every track because I know that this is where I'm gonna start. My retune speed, my humanizer are already set, everything else is just normalized to nothingness, just default. So it's not altering the vocal in any other way. But these settings are basically the only things you really need to change to get a nice natural sounding auto-tuned voice. You can tighten up the retune speed if you need a little bit more tuning or if you want it to just snap to the notes a little bit quicker or if the singer is just not jumping to the notes fast enough and the pitch is out a little bit more then just, you know, bump up the retune speed a little bit. But try and keep it between 20 and 60 to keep it more natural sounding. And that's it. Now you have the basic controls to get started with auto-tune to just give a natural in-tune vocal sound without sounding auto-tuned. Now you know the key features that are actually going to make a difference to just get started tuning your vocal. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in the next video. Until then, always be creating.